Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today on the brand new Prisons Reset. Now this reset about an hour and a half ago, alright? So we're kind of late, but really, we're not that late. If you guys have not been keeping up with the channel, this season of Prisons, I have a Versus series lined up against a YouTuber finally. The YouTuber we are going to be doing a Versus series against is actually heroic now i don't know if you guys have heard of him but he does do like a lot of factions content mainly and i would say his content is pretty similar to mine so if you guys want to go check out his channel down below it is going to be linked and i don't even know if he's ever played prisons which is why i cannot lose this season of prisons bro that would be mad embarrassing. If this was a Factions versus series, though, i definitely lose. But as always, guys, if you want to come check out the brand new reset of Archon Prisons, use royal.archonhq.net. And if you guys have never used a YouTuber's code before, you guys can use code royal and Archon Spycraft for a free first rank on any server on the Archon. So, anyways, guys, um, Heroic actually told me he could not be online for uh, Start of the World today because he's just, like, super busy so for the first episode i am not going to be recruiting anybody because i don't want to get like too far ahead and just make it unfair i'm going to be playing strictly solo for this first episode but later in the season i will be recruiting to my plot so if you guys want to join help me out in the versus series just hop on grind get yourself ranked up get a decent pickaxe and yeah if i see you guys are grinders then i will definitely um invite you so anyways guys we're gonna go ahead hop straight into this prisons episode right here we have the usual monthly crate you guys already know the drill um winning a rank would clearly be massive a dimension hopper pickaxe for start of the world would not be bad either void backpack would be pretty decent but you guys know it's the first episode all right so we are gonna have a super slow start especially because we are playing solo so let's just go ahead and place down this crate hopefully we can get a little bit of luck okay we got what did what did we even win all right so we got nc i already had that though xp boosters uncommon crates Ooh, a 3x a 3x token booster actually is not bad 3x token booster for 30 minutes is actually going to be huge bro for the start of the world we want a pair of disguise and i already had that as well 50k tokens though some more crates some more tokens and 7 to 10 enchantment crate keys okay honestly that was not that bad but you guys know my prisons luck for some reason on here is absolutely terrible every single season so this right here was not a bad start at all so now we're here at the crate keys i'm just gonna speed open these hopefully we get something decent honestly tokens would be huge um i don't even think you can win tokens from the rare crate keys uncommons are gonna be absolutely terrible i believe wait whoa is that 75 mil okay we already have 100 million dollars that is actually really good 50 mil 50 mil whoa i don't know if that's like a lot of money on start of the world but i think it is bro i could be tripping but we're about to find out here in a second 5,000 tokens i will definitely take that 25,000 tokens all right and the final key 10 fragments not that good but hey right now we have 200 million dollars and 170,000 tokens i don't know what's good with my luck right now but this is looking like the best start of the world on prisons from crates i have ever had and it could not come at a better time so now we're gonna go ahead open up the enchantment crate keys anything we win from this is honestly going to be pretty good especially if it's like fortune 100 token scan 100 that is going to be massive seismic useless seismic 100 just not a good enchant efficiency is decent luck 10 token scan 10 all right bro can we get one level 100 book that's decent all right token scan 100 bro that is not terrible now can we get a fortune 100 oh efficiency 100 okay not bad i'm gonna take it spawning in straight with this pickaxe is uh definitely not bad okay token scan 110 could have been better but it's all good we still have six legendary cray keys and six epics from the legendaries you can win a grip of tokens it looks like can win even more money can win ranks um an upgrader pickaxe if we get that we're winning the season hands down i promise you hopefully if we don't get it i really hope um heroic doesn't get it and look at that dude we are making so much money from these crates i hope that goes a long way oh we just want an epic crate key as well let's go epic crate keys are the best crate keys on the server another 450 million dollars another 450 mil 
And, okay, a large candy farm, that is uh, pretty useless. But now, we are moving on to the epics, and we won two more epic keys out of that one. From this, you can win mind breakers, you can win upgraders. Mind breaker is going to be the best possible thing you can win from this if you pull this out of a crate key you could sell this for a grip of like irl money on bycraft dude like it is ridiculously rare if i get mindbreaker i'm pretty sure i could beat heroic's entire plot solo but we're gonna go ahead keep on popping these open 150,000 tokens i might just let these keys roll these are the best keys on the server. All right, a tier three pouch set. We got kind of robbed, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna continue speed opening them. 150,000 tokens, 150 mil is actually not that good from an epic. Um, We did get some warheads though. Those are huge, 250K tokens. And for the final crate key, what are we going to win? Oh, oh my God, bro. One off the Godfather rank, the max rank on the server, but... We did win five Jolly Ranchers, which is pretty good. So, I'm gonna be honest, I can't even be mad at that opening, bro. Usually, I'm heated on Prison Star of the World whenever I open my crates, but that was pretty good. So, let's go ahead really quickly. Um, P create, I believe, and I think we're gonna do the desert one because I've never done this one. Okay, boom, desert plot right here. And we just changed the plot name to Team Royal. So, if I do slash P who... You guys can see it right there. And let's go ahead and see how far this uh, crate money is going to get us. Slash rank up. I don't think there's a rank up max yet, but we have got to get that added to the server. But right now, we're skipping ourselves a lot of mine. So I am not complaining. Slash bow. Dude, we've hardly used any money. It's going to start getting super expensive here very soon, though, I'm assuming. Or maybe not. We are all the way at mine S. Mine T. Now I think we're starting to actually use some money. Mine you. Oh my god, bro. Dude, we are at mine W already. There is actually no way I just skipped all of that. I am absolutely not complaining. Hopefully Heroic doesn't get as lucky as I did on those Cray Keys money-wise. But now, here comes the hard part. Grinding from pretty much straight scrap is probably not gonna be fun. This is gonna take a really long time until I start getting fortune levels, start getting a bigger backpack, all of that stuff. Wait, I have 740,000 tokens. What am I talking about? Let's go. Oh, no way. They're going to make me unlock all of them. That's hilarious, bro. They really thought I was about to um, unlock all of that. But if we go right here, we have ourselves a good old kit partner. And, oh, okay. I still have to unlock it on this one as well. Well, I tried to cheese the system. I thought if I did a kit, I wasn't going to have to unlock it. But unfortunately, we're going to have to spend a lot of tokens right here to... Oh my god, bro. This is such a waste, bro. All right, but right here... We just unlocked fortune. We still have 730,000 tokens. How many levels of fortune can that actually get us? 500 levels is about 500,000. Um, all right, so to max it out, we are going to need a lot more tokens. So I think I'm going to go with like 250 levels right there for now and then add like another 50, I'm guessing. We still have 500,000 tokens. I want to unlock token scan. All right, how much are we talking right here? Okay. 500 levels of token scan is 300,000 tokens. I'm going to do that because token scan, I really feel like I want to upgrade as soon as possible because right now we don't have a lot of backpack space. So fortune 300 is going to be a ton. I'm pretty much going to be selling all the time. So the rest of these tokens are going straight into token scan. No questions asked. And boom, now we are all the way down to 718 tokens, but the start of the world pickaxe now is looking pretty good. I did get this 300 slot backpack though. So hopefully this uh, fortune 300 could put in a little bit of work. All right, I'm not gonna lie. It took a long time to get ourselves a full inventory, but let's see how much money we're making here. 84 million dollars. The next per or the next rank up actually is 2.3 billion though. So now we're gonna go ahead, start the long grinding process. That is start of the world on prisons. The start is always going to be the hardest, bro, because you just progress so slowly. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a cut. We're going to grind a lot of tokens, upgrade fortune a little bit more, and uh, yeah, grab some money. And I'll bring you guys back in a second. All right, so I have been grinding a decent amount off camera. And again, keep in mind, I am completely solo. But I have got enough money to make it all the way to mine Z on the first episode as a solo, 
I would say that is not too bad. And if we take a look at the pickaxe, fortune is almost max. We need like 119 levels, I believe that is. Token scan is level 1360. And if I do slash P who, we have 408 million levels of value. And I believe heroic still hasn't logged online let me actually check yeah i don't think he's even logged on yet so i kind of feel bad i'm probably gonna stop grinding a little bit just so we can catch up kind of but yeah we are already at mine z i want to see how much money we are making per inventory so we have 270,000 tokens right now Let's go ahead and upgrade Fortune a little bit more. Now we have Fortune 706, 44 levels off from maxed out Fortune. And when I actually start recruiting to my plot, we are going to be progressing so much faster. Just because Prisons is obviously a team-based game. So yeah, we have a couple strategies to go ahead and get the grinders ranked up pretty fast. And then we help out the rest of the plot. But anyways, let's go ahead and see how much we are making in inventory 3 point four billion dollars right now dude all right wait hold up i went ahead got another inventory and look at my value 442 million we sell we are now at 484 million oh my god we made four billion dollars off of that sell that is not too bad i'm gonna go ahead get 500 million value real quick aka probably just one more sell and then i'm gonna take a break until heroic actually logs on because again i don't want to get a like a huge head start on him because that is just unfair so with this final sell that should put us over 500 mil i am hoping yeah 515 million levels of plot value but i'm gonna go ahead take a cut we're gonna wait for heroic to actually log online and uh, yeah i'll bring you guys back in a second well it is the complete next day already and uh heroic did log on but i don't think he actually has a plot yet and i'm trying to grind okay so right now this is our pickaxe i have enough tokens to completely max out fortune boom now all we have to focus on is pretty much this token scan right here and yeah we're gonna be set for this season very very soon i'm just trying to get all of the annoying part of like starting on prisons all the boring grinding done as soon as possible so that way i can start progressing start recruiting a bunch of people and start reaching high prestiges because already your boy is prestige one solo if i recruited an actual plot i would probably be like prestige five maybe even prestige 10 who knows because this season the eco in my opinion is very very good once again and it is pretty easy to rank up so yeah let's go ahead and see how much we are making at the prestige one mine and boom click to sell all 6.7 billion pretty much double what we were making at the regular z mine which is not bad but now i don't think i'm gonna be able to get to prestige 5 solo mainly because it is gonna get super super expensive and you don't unlock another mine whenever you reach like prestige 2 but we do have 1.2 billion levels of value. Heroic has zero at the moment. So anyways, guys, really quickly, let's go to P-Go. And um, I believe I need to place down a commodity bank. Is that still a thing this season? It is. All right. So we got to get this place down to make sure we don't run out of, uh, like, space for value. What the, what the heck is this? Okay. My chunks of glitch. Hang on. Slash hub. We're going to join right back. Um, P-Go. Hopefully it has... Okay. Here is the commodity bank. It kind of glitched out for a second. We're also going to place down our pet ranch, but I do know pet ranches this season. And like how you get pets have changed this season. Oh, wait, we are disguised. Boom. Um, I don't really know. Apparently, you have to use like free world and stuff now. So it's going to be a little confusing because if we go to token shop, I don't believe. Yeah, you can't even buy pet eggs anymore. So I'm going to be honest. I don't really know how it's going to entirely work this season. But as long as we figure it out before Heroic does, um, I think we will be chilling. And boom, we also have this Candy Smith that I don't even know how to use, bro. Never in my life have I used one of these things. Wait, hold up. Where can I place this? Um, Boom. Just throw it right there, I guess. This is what the start of the world is going to look like for us. Because this is pretty much going to do it for the end of the episode we have no updates on what Heroic is actually doing yet, which kind of scares me. But yeah, in the next episode, I might slowly start recruiting because, again, I don't want to get way ahead. So I might just recruit like one person per episode 
And to join, all you guys have to do is uh, be good at, you know, prisons, I guess. Again, if you guys have, like, Merchant 10, like, Fortune 20, you guys are not going to get invited, okay? You have to hop on, you have to be playing, you have to be grinding. And if you guys do want to come check out the server, be sure you guys are using royal.archonhq.net. And that is going to go ahead and do it for the first episode of the prison series. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like, sub if you guys are new, all that stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Prisons vs. Series.